Welcome everyone, Johnny Keck over at AMP Futures. Thank you for tuning in. In today's video, we're going to show you a short video in regards to how to switch from demo and live and live back to demo using multicharts.net. A lot of times we get questions here at the help desk uh, from customers who use multicharts. Is, is it possible to switch between demo and live using your live trading credentials? And the answer to your question is yes. Uh, with the multicharts 9.1 build, we recently had multicharts program a local broker profile, which would allow you to access local simulation mode within the platform. So it gives you the ability to log in using your live credentials and have access to a permanent demo login and access local simulation mode. All right, so we're definitely excited to be able to get that onto the product and the platform. And we're going to show you in this video how to switch back and forth. And uh, it's a pretty straightforward process. And the one thing I want to bring up as well is if you are a new prospect or you don't have a live funded account with AMP Futures just yet and you are interested in trying out the 14-day trial, uh, you're going to be able to take advantage of free data in real time from the CME or for 14 days. However, after 14 days, in order for you to continue practicing paper trading or continuing to use the demo on a, on a demo account, or better yet, platform on a demo account, uh, you're going to have to get an account open with AMP Futures. It's, it's $100 minimum account size to maintain a live data feed connection and also the CME is now charging monthly CME data fees. So January 1st, 2015, the Chicago Mercantile Exchange has decided to, to, to apply universal charge across all brokerage firms for data access. And you're looking at between five and 15 bucks a month. So the reason why I say between five and 15 bucks a month, the full CME bundle is $15 a month. That includes four exchanges. That's CME, Chicago Board of Trade, COMEX, and NYMEX. Now, if you only trade, for example, the mini S&P, you may not need all four of those exchanges. So it boils down to $5 per exchange. So if you only trade ES, you would only need access to just CME exchange only, which would cost you 5 bucks a month. So that's why I say between 5 and 15 bucks a month, depending on what you're trading and what you need. And if you need to make those adjustments, give our support team a call. We can go ahead and make that adjustment for you. Therefore, we can reduce that monthly cost. Again, that's not an AMP fee. That's a universal data fee from the CME that's applicable for all brokerage firms in the entire industry. All right, so let's get right into it. I'm going to bring up the multi-charge platform. And the first thing, of course, by, at this point, you're either in one of two situations. You, you're either using a 14-day trial. I'm actually logged into a 14-day trial right now, or you're logged into your live AMP account, which you've already been assigned CQG login credentials to log into your account. And uh, you should see in the order and position tracker window here your live AMP account number along with your balance. And if you notice there, that's the local paper trader broker profile. So I'm going to show you how to connect that local paper trader broker profile so you can switch back and forth between demo and live. And the first thing you're going to want to do is go in and click on the file menu option on the top left corner and you want to go to broker profiles and you want to go and select manage broker profiles. All right, real quick, what I'm about to do is disregard. I'm just doing this for demonstration purposes because this is how it looks when you, let's say if you log into the platform for the very first time, you're going to see all these additional data connections, okay? So you'll see it just like this. All right, and the reason why I, I wanted to add these back on there, because as you log into the platform for the very first time, um, you will see all these connections. And what I normally like to suggest is to kind of make things clean and organized, you may want to delete the connections that you don't use. Because what happens is when you go here to switch from this little drop down menu here and here, you're going to see all these available connections, and there's going to be connections that you simply do not use, and that might create confusion. So what I would recommend doing is, of course, keep the connection data feed that you're using, whether it be CQG, LMAX, PaperTrader. Or the PaperTrader is always going to be there, but CQG, LMAX, Rhythmic, or TTNet. LMAX is specifically for Forex, so most likely if you're trading futures, you're not going to need LMAX, so I'll go ahead and delete that. So I'm going to highlight it and just remove. And then the Rhythmic connection as well, I'm not using that at the moment, so I'm going to remove it. Of course, if you are using it, keep it. And the same concept goes with TTNet. If you are using it, keep it, but if not, remove it. So in my case, I'm using CQG as the main data feed, so I don't need the other connections, but I'm just going to strictly keep CQG and Paper Trader listed. All right, so this keeps things clean, creates, uh, eliminates confusion, and now the next step is you want to make sure that your Paper Trader connection is connected. Okay, so in this case, you can see the state. It is connected. If, if you see it not connected, you'll see it simply say disconnected, as you can see here. And another thing, some, we'll get questions, is it possible to change the balance on the Paper Trader? Because by default, I believe it defaults it to 100,000, and the answer to the question is yes. Just disconnect the Paper Trader Broker Profile and go to Edit. And then when you go to Edit, you'll see here the SIM balance. Make sure the proper data source is selected up here. So if you're using CQG or one of the four here, just make sure you select the correct data source. And then just make sure you hit Edit here. 
So right now it's 100,000, but if I change that to say 10,000, just type in the value, click OK. Now you're gonna click OK again. And now you're gonna go ahead and connect the Paper Trader Broker Profile. And now you can see the Paper Trader Broker Profile is connected with the new cash balance of $10,000. All right, so that's the first step. You wanna make sure you connect the Paper Trader Broker Profile. And again, how I got to this menu option, File, Broker Profiles, and then Manage Broker Profiles. And then you'll see the connection is available. Okay, so just get in there, make sure it's connected, make sure the state shows connected. If you wanna change the balance, you can go ahead and edit it. Click there, hit edit, you can change the balance as well. And if you do change it while you're connected, in order for that new balance to resync, you have to disconnect and reconnect the connection for the balance to, to sync up. All right, so now that we've gotten that, that step out of the way, we want to close the broker profile. And now we're going to show you how to toggle back and forth between demo and live off the chart trader. And we're going to show you how to toggle back and forth on the dome as well. Let's first demonstrate on the chart trader. So if you notice on the top right corner of the chart trader, there's a green circle confirmation connection. And normally you want to see that connection green, which indicates that you're successfully connected. Uh, either, you know, normally by default, it will show your live account number if you're connected to the CQG connection, as you can see here and your live A&P account number will be displayed here. All right, so what you're gonna wanna do is just simply hit the drop down menu and just simply toggle the paper trader. So when you left click the paper trader, you're gonna see now the account field will show SIM001. And that now will indicate that you're now in demo mode. Okay, so that's pretty much how you switch from demo or from live to demo. And you will now see that the account field shows SIM001. Now if you go to CQG, now, that's a 14-day that's a trial. That's why it's showing a demo user ID. Of course, if you have your live connection created, it would show your live account number. Now, notice also when I'm changing it off the chart trader, it's not in sync with the dome. So you can see that if I change this to the paper trader, that says SIM001, and that right there is the, the well, this is the demo account, but it normally would show your live account number there. So you're going to have to do the same thing on the dome as well. So now that I've demonstrated on the chart trader, we're going to do the same thing on the dome. We're going to right left click on the little arrow to the right of the green circle. And we're going to left click on the paper trader. So now I'm going to go ahead and type in the symbol that I want to trade. So EPM16, which would be the June mini S&P. And now you can see there's an indication showing SIM001. All right, so short, short answer, rule of thumb, always look at the account field to get an understanding of what you're trading. If it says SIM001, you know you're in demo mode. And if you're trading live, it's going to show your live AMP account number. And again, to toggle it, you're just going to hit the little drop-down menu. You're going to select Paper Trader there. And you're going to select Paper Trader there. Now, if you want to go back to your live account, switch it right back to CQG. Switch it right back to CQG. And now you're back to live. Assuming that you had a live connection, of course, it's showing my 14-day trial username. But that's pretty much how you switch back and forth between demo and live. Fairly straightforward process. Now, one thing I do want to mention that's very important. What I've just demonstrated is specific for manual trading. That means that you're not using any type of automation. You're not using pre-built signals that come included with multicharts.net for free. Uh, you're not using any algorithms that you coded and created using visualbasics.net or C-sharp. So you're not doing any type of automation. What I've just demonstrated is specifically for manual trading. Okay, so... In the next video that I'm about to do, I'm going to show you if you are running any automation or you're running pre-built signals, what you would have to do to make sure that you map to the paper trader broker profile so that you know you're executing in demo mode. And so we're going to do that in the next video. We want to keep them separate so we don't create any confusion. But for the meantime, what I've just demonstrated is how you switch back and forth between demo and live. Other than that, guys, uh, that's pretty much our video conclusion on how to switch. Uh, from live to demo or demo to live. If you do still run into technical issues, please give us a call. We're a 24-hour support team around the clock. We'll be happy to walk you through the process. In the meantime, for more videos, please stay tuned and visit our YouTube channel at www.youtube.com forward slash AMP Futures. Again, that's www.youtube.com forward slash AMP Futures. Thank you for your time. Looking forward to seeing you in the next video. Happy trading, guys.